Hello my friends and welcome back to our continue blind let's play the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. My name is the Flightless Bird, this is your story based gaming channel and today we start with chapter 11. All paths must cross. Oof. There's been a lot of stuff going on in uh, the past couple episodes and I can only imagine it's going to get even more intense as we proceed. Let's dive into it. I hope you're having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Hopefully better than Jaime over here. Poor guy. Just left him behind. Oh, Damn. God. Jaime. I... It really happened, didn't it? That's really you. Fuck. Jaime. I know there's an old term of going to pieces over someone, but not like that. Okay, I think I should probably get the heck out of here. Go towards the exit. I still don't understand why I couldn't open this door before. Thought I had the key. Another playthrough, perhaps. Oh, shit. What was that? Great. Basically in the nerve center of this thing. <laughs> and we have no protection. We don't have our camera. <laughs> Linda? Oh, you okay? <laughs> oh my god, they're here. Barbara's bag. He's got a first aid kit. Chris, go to your friends. Come on. What are you waiting for? How's that? Better? Thanks, Doc. Hey! What the hell happened to you? Oh, man. I may. He. He was... He tried. He saved me. Well... Mi hermano. Not technically. He did try, though. And, and Robert, too? No. We found Frank Stone's hideout. And all this, uh... Evidence? He left to get his dad. Okay. We'll have to sort through it all later. We just need to get out of here. Pronto. Great, let's get the fuck out of here. How do we get the fuck out of here? Good question, Mega Man. There's the storm drain. We could get us out. If we're lucky, we might be able to find a way in from this chamber. I don't like the sound of that. It's yes. coming. Film, film, film. Oh, come on. Chapter 12, closing the noose. Back to Garrett Manor, 2024. What is it? Madison in the corridor. What do you see? Still haven't I been able to be staying yet. Doesn't mean it's not there. Just when I thought I had a handle on this place. Getting lost in here is like putting your brain through an egg slicer. <laughs> What? Ah, uh, nothing. I, I was just thinking that if someone asked me to explain what happened back there, I I wouldn't even know where to start. Yeah, this I, I wouldn't either. just keeps going and going. Yeah. 
But you know something? We were here for hours and everything was totally normal. Wow. You know what I mean? Things only started going off the rails when Sheriff Shithead showed up. You don't know that he's got anything to do with it. You don't know that he doesn't? Well, what do we do now? Kind of only got one option, you know? Which is? Get the fuck out of here as soon as humanly possible. What about Linda? About her. <sighs> Hopefully we'll just run into her along the way. So you want to tell me what was going on with that kid? Kid? Girl in the sarcophagus. I don't know much more than you do. She said she knew my mom, but it didn't make any sense. Not much around here does lately. I wish I had more time to talk to her. I just hope she got back to wherever she was trying to go. And don't worry, there is a version in Flightless Birds Universe where she does stay with Madison. I just haven't seen that universe yet. But it's coming. Well, that bed looks pretty tempting right now. Not gonna lie. Looks like the kind of bed they'd use to sacrifice virgins in some old horror movie. <laughs> I think Augustine lured us in here on purpose. I don't know. So she could sacrifice one of us? Well, there is one way we could ensure our safety. Gross, dude. Yeah, that's usually how you end up getting yourselves killed, not the other way around. What the heck? I thought this was going to be another one of those boxes with all the stuff in them. Oh, it's another locket. Wait, is this the same one? Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What's that? Uh, it's a pendant. There was a picture of it in that book. It explained how it would offer some sort of protection or something. Is that the same locket from before? I didn't even think it was real, before? but... Uh, yeah. Well, maybe I should hold on to it. Just in case. No, I think I should hold Just on to it. Just in case it actually works? Yeah. I mean, I almost got killed once tonight. Uh, oof. I, oh, oh, ee, ah, mm. Uh, finder's keeper. No, that's selfish. Oh, uh, I, I, oh, I, 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 I'm being selfish. Uh, I found it. So by the ancient law of finder's keepers, I kind of feel like I finder I keepered. It just gives a Pete Dunn shrug. Like no one gets that reference, flight this bird. Well, if you do, you're awesome. <laughs> and if you did it, you're still awesome. <laughs> the history of looks boring. Still, can't judge a book by its cover. The etymology of East England, the history of loaves and other hundreds by Dr. John D. Dollart. If you wonder why Bedshire is called Bedfordshire. Question by the meaning of Charl End, or simply been confused about why Woodbridge doesn't have a wooden bridge, Dr. Dullart may have the answers. I love his name is Dr. Dullart. <laughs> a, a historian specializing in the east of England, John D. Dullart, specifically wrote the book on the history of the nation's towns with his door-stopping encyclopedia of East England. Now with the etymology of East England, the history of Lowe's and other hundreds, he returns to the region to unravel the history of the towns and get the complex webs of beliefs and conflicts that give them their names. Hidden meanings. The changing nature of language often results in a lack of modern consensus on the etymology of certain place names. Even those that seem patently obvious may be hiding a myriad meanings. For example, there is an East English... Anglian town named Woodbridge that historians doubt ever had a literal wooden bridge. Even if it had, such a thing is likely to have been considered a noteworthy innovation given the town's layout and the technology of its oldest recorded settlements. Uh, hello, Mr. Key. Hello. Now that's not boring. Blood may be that which binds us to this world, for upon the spilling of life's blood shall a man find himself moving on to the next. 
Why then, if a soul may naturally move from one reality into a higher one by the shedding of this blood, should we be surprised to learn such shedding may draw the gaze of that higher reality? This is definitely not about hidden meanings anymore. Uh, we might therefore conclude it's simply the act of taking life, not any passage of our souls that bring these worlds together. Conclude it is simply the act of taking life. In so doing, we might form our gates between this world and the other, and in so doing, perchance move through them while we yet live. Or what wisdom we might glean from the worlds of the ancients, what knowledge might be but a single sacrifice away. How to return is another matter at the death of our own. Blood sacrifice made elder gods will open up a path to the realm. Use the key in the box. Now you may say, well, Flight is Bird, shouldn't you explore a little bit more rather than use a key here? Maybe. The thing is, I have no idea if exploring is going to trigger something else that's going to make it so I don't use this box. So it's one of those things where you, 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 you just got to go with the flow. Ready. Oh, ho. hello, huh? dark and secret, scary uh, red cavern. Slick. Hmm. Or hideaway, or lair, or oh yeah, my god, sure. a secret passage. Why not? I don't like that red light. We're gonna Silent Hill to this, huh? Just go down into the depths of the earth. This red light following us. Where are we? Okay, that's got a hold X. Let's go the opposite way first. Mandated psychological session five with patient Frank Stone. Frank Stone? March 28th, 1961. Wait, that's Augustine. Week since our last but 1961? Frank, an attack. That's on an over orderly. 60 years ago. Perhaps we could salvage this. Tell me, do you ever feel as though you have a higher calling? This instinct of yours to inflict pain on others to punish them i don't believe it is wholly errant these sessions are all about taking responsibility frank not just for your past but for your future too yes you have a future and it could be bound you simply have to trust me. So did she set Frank Stone on this path of murder? Dr. Lieber exerted a strong psychological hold over Frank Stone. Okay, here's the, uh, the box I was talking about. Got about half. Down there. What's this? Oh, another relic. Oh, what the twins heck? Are creepy. That's just a fact. The twins, the the bond emboldened by hatred. This one doesn't have a full plushy thing. That is freaky. It's like an alien coming out of his chest. Oh my God, Jesus. All right, you got me on that one. You got me on that one. Yep, yep, yep. You got me on that one. Oh my god, that was... Sacrificial knife, strong against the darkness. I feel it's hooks pulling me deeper into the abyss. All right, well, let's uh... 
really creepy portrait as you run closer to it. Alright, well, let's go exit stage to left. Oh, technically right. Need to understand. Why should I? I don't even know you. Linda! <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay. You're not gonna believe what happened. I found this totally crazy room, and this girl just came out of nowhere. Maddie, listen. This is not the Sam Green I knew from Cedar Hills. He is an imposter. We cannot trust him. I will admit. I thought you were trusting him before. Time, distance, and a great deal more than you could know are between us. But whoever I am to you, you can trust me. You have to. Give me one good reason. You've seen Augustine's archive. She's not just collecting every piece of the film you made. She's collecting every piece of that film that could have ever potentially existed. What is that even supposed to mean? Resisting campaign is supportive. Let's go supportive. We see it strange stuff. I don't stuff. know if I would have said this an hour ago, but after what I just experienced... Exactly. I think Sam might be right. Augustine's lying to us. Whatever she's up to here, it's way, way over our heads. You should have seen this chamber and the girl. I don't trust Augustine, but I trust this man even less. At least whoever Augustine is, she's not pretending to be someone from your past. It's too bad Chris isn't here with us right now. Oh, great. Out of the frying pan? I don't like any of what's going on anymore. I think we should just get the fuck out. Uh, what? Christine Gordon picture. Oh, this ain't good. Is this the movie you made? Someone's playing the cursed movie. Yeah. It is. You got your piece of the film strip? Yeah. All right, let me see it. Maddie? I need to see the actual film. What? Where is it? No, 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 no. It was right here. It, it was the right heck? in here. Do you still have yours? But oh, she played us. So, uh, show it to me. Show me what you took from my son. I can't do that. You can't do that? I kind of, sort of, might have already made a deal with Augustine. <laughs> It was before anybody else got here. I, I just went ahead. Empathetic. How could you know? Outraged. You weasel. You didn't know. How could you know? I swear, if I had any idea whatsoever what a fucking whack job Augustine would turn out to be, I, I would have asked for at least double. What a jerk. And then I would have said, no, thank you, and hightailed it right out of here, hand over heart. All right, that's better. I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt, Stan. <laughs> that was too. <laughs> hey, you get what you wanted? You done with this fucking game? If she's had all the pieces of the film this whole time, why does she keep us here? Interesting question. Murder Mill, Chapter 13, Cedar Still Mill, 1980. Oh God, we're all gonna die. Oh God, 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 oh God. Oh God, oh God. What the heck? Oh, we can't see it.
guess we can see it now. Oh, that's not good. Bonnie, 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 Bonnie. Linda, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh my god. Just hooked her. What could I have done to save her? What, what could I have done to save her? Mom? No. No, that's not what happened. Never happened. Never. I uh, think it's about time I just kind of made my exit. <laughs> oh, that's not good. A gracious host appears. Jumping way too much. Can we just sit in one spot for a couple minutes, please? We were in the old machine shop. That's where Chris and Jaime and I found a way into Frank's hideout and. That was from. I know. Stay right here until I come back. Do you understand? But dad... Sam, furnace chamber. Find the teenagers. What the heck? Is that Bonnie? My God, I'm too late. No, I don't get. I don't get. Dad, Dad, it's me. It's me. Damn it! I, I told you to. What? What happened? Wait, I'm coming with you. I gotta help. Whatever is down there is too dangerous. I can't let you get hurt. I can't. But it's my fault. I got them in here. I... If you don't listen to me, I can't protect you. And I just can't trust that you're gonna listen to me. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Back here, a nightmare repeating itself. It's sad again. I gotta find them. I don't need to explore this place as much because it's already been explored. Right? <sighs> Those kids and their damn movie. Oh, that's not good. Linda. I 
I don't like this very much. I don't like this at all. <laughs> oh my god. Where is the storm drain I'm at? Oh, there's a... Uh, I didn't see this. Something about this camera. Maybe it's the key to all of this. This isn't right. It feels like... Like you're being hunted? Here. This way. Get it together, Sam. Come on now. For them. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Got him. is this? Ugh. The spirit, the phantom of vengeance. That's creepy. I feel like I'm gonna die before I get to them. Watching us. Yeah, I get to feel like this is like a timed event. And you have X amount of time to get to where you need. Of course, because I'm playing the hardest difficulty, I have less time. Hear him. Come on, Sam. We gotta rescue them. Linda. Shoot. Oh my god! Hurry up and find them. These monstrosities are everywhere. No time to waste on this. Where? Where are you? Gotta remain calm. Ah. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I don't know if I'm going backwards. I feel like I'm going backwards. I feel like I'm going backwards.
I'm sorry, kids. I, my sense of direction is completely horrible. It's going to get you all killed. We here maybe is this it this is it I made it escape from Frank Stone in the storm drain can you stand go get up I'll hold it off. Doesn't look like she's gonna make it. God, not again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, Ghostbuster camera! Work! Stay back, son! I got him right where I want him! Come on, camera, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, come on! Okay, okay, we're still here. It's not going, it's not going anymore. kid she needs serious what help fast movie magic what forget it movie magic oh. come on sam you can do this Stop it. Only momentarily. We need to get that guy out of here. Is it is it over? No. There's still one thing left we gotta do. What's that, Sam? Kill the film? We trapped it. But he can escape. He's escaped before. Oh, great. The Masker at Camp Manor. Great. One thing I love to see when you play a video game is a title called The Massacre. Wall screwed. Gonna come right through the screen, isn't it? Here's Augustine confront scan. Um, 
Yes. You got your damn movie. What more do you want? You, you lied to me. I did no such thing. Like hell you didn't. You promised me. It is no fault of mine if you misinterpreted what I promised you. My mom just died. You knew I was grieving and you took advantage of me. A traveler is only as strong as its vessel. You got a hell of a lot to answer for and a lot of hell to pay. Ah, oh, I knew it. I knew it. Help! Help me! Help! Help me get him! What is going on? Wait, was that a fake amulet? Didn't fire in time, darn it! I tried to fire! I tried firing. I think I pressed R2 instead of X, but either way, what I didn't. Is that? I was not fast enough. That is Frank Stone. We gotta go. We gotta run. Oh, we're now. screwed. I was brutal. Trapped like rats in a cage. Sam got out. Linda got out. Stan, you may have picked the wrong gate. Just to play as you. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I still can't believe I didn't get that fire off in time. It sucks because I gave him his gun too. I didn't take it away from him. I could have used it to save me. And I screwed Shit. up. That's how we got down here. Why did I think 
that would suddenly work. I must be losing it. I don't know, but let's stop and get this for no reason. Tiny hammer. I don't see anything. Of course it's a generator. They can't blame me for that one. I think the generator still works, but it's missing some parts. Surprise, surprise. Uh, issue date 41760, date 40475. This card is also in place. There's a right to revoke security access at any time. Security pass, Augustine Lieber. Huh. I don't have time to read things, sorry. I got a demon chasing after me, and I am gonna totally screw this up. Come on, fight this. You can do this. Just one time. It's so small. I did it! I did it! Oh crud, I'm not out of the woods yet. Come on, elevator. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Go, 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 Um, up. Whoa. Why'd you go up? Because Sam was also going up. That's, that's the only thing I can say. In the split second decision, I just went the same way Sam went. <gasps> oh my god! Oh no. I did the generator right too, and in the end, I still failed her. Would have been nice if she could like grab one of those weapons or something, you know? It's like the game knows me. Let's call this chapter Massacre. How right it is. Why are we back here? Can I try to go back?
Frank Stone is finally the man he was meant to be. My champion. A killer worthy of the entity. The bleed between worlds is open, split apart by sacrifice and violence. All will be swallowed by the entity's power. And what of me? The one who served up this world for it to devour. I'll oblige as its faithful servant. Existing only to drink in its knowledge, share in its glory. I don't think whatever demon you're worshiping. I am Augustine Lieber, and I have brought the entity to your world. It's going to repay you the way you think it is. Crazy psychopath. What have we done? These lifetimes of toil and torment. All for this beautiful moment of sublime perfection. Almost unbearably so. I bear to you the offerings. I humbly await my reward for loyal service, unending. Yep. So what happens to crazy psychopaths who try to keep in the world with demonic rituals? Sure, where I am. The heck? Then memory floods back, and I know our world is gone, consumed by a living realm beyond space, beyond time. Thanks to me. What the heck? I'm playing as Frank Stone now. What the heck? You were on a campfire? Whether killing or surviving, the entity will play with our souls for all eternity. An endless hunt of fear and hope, pain and sacrifice from which even death is no escape. And now, 
Let the trial begin. The campfire. Please, sorry. Yeah, I, I, I think I do understand that ending. Because in the, um, in the Dead by Daylight games, uh, don't you all start around a campfire? And then you plunge into a map where you fix generators and then escape or something. So basically, the, the idea behind this game is this game is like a prequel to Dead by Daylight. Uh, the entity, the god, whatever that thing is with the claws. Uh, that thing basically has enveloped our world. And what happened is... the uh, Those who died, the souls who lost are basically now forced to play this game for all eternity where they either survive or die and Frank Stone, the killer, is constantly hunting them. In which case, I mean, that sucks. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. Wow, that really sucked. Uh, Man, I, I, I knew left is always right. I should have gone left, but it was a split moment decision. And I thought going down would put me back in the sewers or something with that. Um, I wanted to get away from that area. And I mean, we're at a mansion. We weren't even in the uh, the steel mill. So I don't even know why I was thinking that. But I, I, I just thought, okay, well, go up because I saw Sam go up. You know, he went up through the uh, the rail. And that's, that's just what hit my brain. So I decided, okay, well, we'll go up. And... You know, then the two of us can fight this thing all together. Really sucks. I did the generator. I actually did the generator. And then in a moment when I needed to hit those QTEs, I missed. Those are really hard QTEs, by the way. They go by really fast. And and what can I say? I, I failed. Uh, I failed the world. And in so doing, I doomed all humanity for the entity's pleasure and enjoyment. <sighs> but you know, I, I always like to say a story is a story. A, a story is the, the, the thing that you create. And uh, my story is my story. And uh, no one else can take that from me. This, this, this was the choices that we made. And these were the actions that led us to this. And uh, I, I, would, I would not expect things to go well playing on the hardest difficulty uh but there are some characters who didn't die and i'm so curious about that uh we still have sam who went back in time and then there's sam who is trying to save the other kids uh i mean chris never died Linda didn't die. So not everyone died, I guess. <laughs> I mean, that's good, right? I mean, that that's good. Uh, but th there's still more to be found. Absolutely, there's still more to be found. And I have every intention of finding more. Because that's, that's part of the fun of playing these games is the idea that you know, just because one story ends doesn't mean the story is over. There's still a lot to be done. And I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to uh, run number two. Uh, run number two is... I don't know if I'm going to do a Ruthless playthrough here just yet. Because, I mean, it, it's weird because... I, I don't think I know enough about the game yet to adequately do a, a ruthless run but then again if uh the the uh i i think this game has a flow chart like uh detroit become human and i saw i saw a titsy bit of that when i had to reset the game because i got soft locked and if i have that flow chart that flow chart i think i could probably I think I could probably tell a ruthless uh, run. And if so, heck yeah, it's gonna be fun. 
it's going to be a blast. Uh, and then, of course, you know, is our redemption run. And our redemption run is basically us making sure we get everyone out alive. And that's going to require a lot. And I think what I'm going to do on the redemption run is I'll play through the game. And when a character dies, I'll complete the game as normal. And then I'll rewind back to the spot where a character dies. And I'll keep playing from that point, And then I'll rewind and rewind and rewind. Although, I don't think I'll be playing uh, the rest of the playthroughs on the hardest difficulty. Uh, I think that the, the best thing we could do is, as we try to manipulate the story, is to better control the story through, you know, by actually controlling the story and not letting the story control you. I mean, the first playthrough, you let the story control you, 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 you let the story goes where it goes. Uh, but after the first time through, I, I think it is, I think it is probably better to, to take more control, if that makes sense. Oh, I, I enjoy this though. I really enjoy this and I will probably continue doing this, especially since there's so many choices here. I, I do like how it ends with this dead by daylight the, the Dead by the Daylight feel. Uh, for those who love Dead by Daylight, that's probably a really cool moment. So, yeah, I I, I think that this game did... It, it did justice to the original source. While at the same time expanding with the creativity of Supermassive. And uh, from what some people in my Discord has told me... By the way, link in the description below. Come join our Discord. There's a lot of people who really think that, yeah, this game did a really good job with with the Dead by Daylight licensing. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And as I said, we will have a lot more to come. Do not worry. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I will let the credits play through in its entirety the first time through. But I can only imagine this is going to be an epilogue. Yep, I can only imagine this is going to be an epilogue. So we will... Uh, we will definitely wait around for that epilogue and, you know, see, see, uh, see what, see if they bring mention to the fact that Sam went through the portal. I still don't know what I could have done differently to save Bonnie. I don't know. Uh, one of the things we will do before closing out on today's episode is look at the flowchart. And look at our decisions and and try to figure out, okay, well, what happened? How did it happen? And what could we have done differently to make different things happen? The casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. Someone coming through. Frank Stone Relic. That's cool. So I guess she was collecting versions of herself. <laughs> that, that was cool. Neat little touch there. 
All right, well, that was definitely a massacre, that is for sure. Uh, let us look at the cutting room floor here. And oh my god, look, holy cow, this is, this is crazy. All right, uh, I think we should start at the beginning and just go from there, possibly. Okay, let's follow our path through the game, shall we? 38% uh, reading uh, discovered that Tom was faking the logbook entries. 7% of us broke the crowbar. Yeah, I said that happened. 82% uh, trusted Tom. 23% dropped the flashlight. Because that, I guess, we... Um, well, no, we could have gone up there, so there may have been something else there. Sam chose to climb the ladder. And because we chose to climb the ladder, we instantly got yeeted to the right. Sam got off the pipe without further injury. So he could have been hurt more. Uh, Sam stopped Frank Stone, 62%. 76% pulled over. Maddie picked up the hitchhiker. 52% we discovered she's a filmmaker. 76% on the parlor. 40%, uh, 46% accepted the drink. 35%, Sam defied. Well, there was a 3% there that we missed, but instead we got the 89%, which is Casa Rivera. Uh, Bonnie gave the money, 83%. There's a 1% choice there. 77% went to Curiosity Chosen. 64%, the price was accepted. Eighty percent followed Stan. Ninety-four percent the memory was shared. Ninety-four percent uh heard Tom's sober account of events on the cassette. Uh sixty-three percent we crossed the river. 's chamber shop passageway 24 percent Chris saved Robert yeah that's because we probably missed the uh, the QTE at uh, 92 percent and then at 75 percent uh Jaime and Chris talked about the relationship and decided to stay together 61 percent we decided to help Chris there's a one percent there which we missed and 11 percent which we also missed and then 87 percent of us got I may kill. Yeah. At least misery loves company. Uh, 23% coin toss lost. It's a 54% chance there and a 23 on the other. Huh. Uh, intruder revealed. Uh, at 14%. It's probably because we didn't attack him. 18% Linda was impaled. So Linda was caught on by Frank Stone and impaled on a hook. 96% Maddie threw the switch. So there's a possible death scene, 4% there. That's interesting. Uh, search archive, 42% into the archive. It's a 100%. Per okay, that's weird. Because there's a 100% chance there, and then there's a zero. We literally hit a 0% chance here. And then we hit a 14% chance. So what was the 0% chance here? Then discovered scene from the original movie. Now we shot with Bonnie. But there's other things there that a lot of people got, which we somehow completely missed. Who knew? But somehow, some way, we missed something there. Uh, then when the yard... It was a... Uh, Possible death there, which we did not see. Chris met Maddie. Chris arrived in the horror gym and met Maddie. 46% chose to return. 
93% Chris left the present. So a very rare percent did not, which we'll see. There's another death scene down there that we missed. And then 48% Chris returned. Machine shop. 85% to the observation. He missed the 0% unfortunately, but we did go down the corridor to the furnace. The death scene missed here. As we warded off stone. 50% of us did that. And Bonnie, uh, Frank Stone killed Bonnie by impaling her on a hook. Surprisingly, it doesn't show up as a death scene, though. Okay, screening 49%. Sam confronted. There's a 2% option here. Hmm. It's like jerks around a little bit too much. You have to hit like the right direction. So, haunted. Storm drain. Uh, 48% and then 90% uh, weakened stone. Final stand. 76% same defeated stone. Curtain call. 73%. Maddie was consumed. A lot of death possibilities there. Look at all that. Okay, you can free look. Okay, cool. Death, 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 and more death. What a great timeline that is right there. Uh, 80, 67 Linda Fix Generator, or 87 Linda Fix Generator. And then 8% Linda Escaped. So we got the rare escape here. Did not get the 0% though. And then unfortunately, 3% Linda was killed by Frank Stone in the atrium. So we, we did see a rare death here. That kind of sucked though. It looks like there was another way that you, she could have died here, another way she could have died here, another way she could have died there. And then Sam used the machine. What was up here? 95% chance. There's something else that happened up there. Ninety percent of us went this route, where Augustine was betrayed, betrayed by the NDT and sacrificed. Then we hit the campfire, and a lot. Oh my. God, look at all this. Look at all this. 21% nobody, nobody escaped. And then we're in the woods and nobody survived. No survivors reached the campfire. And then the figure emerges from the sarcophagus in the horologium. A way to like zoom out of this oh there's a way to like go back but is there other possible paths here I I'm sure I guess that's something that we'll have to figure out. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to play this game fully through to the end. One more time. Or two more times, probably. We're going to play this game fully through to the end. And what we're going to be looking for is all the really bad ways to screw people over. So, we're not going to be nice. We're not going to be pleasant. We are going to try to be oppositional at every turn and when i say oppositional it's not just oppositional as in friend friends but it's also oppositional in choices so as much as possible we want to make as many different choices as we can because that's what that's what's going to drive the narrative moving forward uh but hey if you like what you saw don't forget to hit that thumbs up to like the video and to subscribe I would love to know your thoughts on this game. Let me know in the comment section below. 
And I do want to give a huge thank you and a deep heartfelt appreciation to our wonderful supporters of the channel via Patreon and YouTube membership. Bleeding Day, Ian L. Epitok, Tapris, Chinook BT, Techno Trouble, Diesel Knight, Draggy K, Moose Gaming, and Daddy X Dig. I'll thank you all so very much. I really do appreciate all that you do. And oh, uh, yeah, we're going to be back. We are going to be back. And I look forward to our next run. If you have any recommendations on certain decisions, feel free to like post those in our next upcoming videos because. I mean, that's what this is all about. This is all about trying different things. And uh, then we're gonna try our redemption run, which is we're gonna try to get everyone out alive. And then I guess we could just go into this flow chart and just pick a spot on the map and try to get different outcomes. Because, I mean, this is part of the fun of the game is seeing these different outcomes and seeing how it all comes together. Uh, but hey, Love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.